Hi Harmon, my name is Ellen and I will be correcting this essay for you. Let's take a look at what you did here. Uh, you did the ex-prisoner essay, so let's see what you wrote. Obtaining punishment due to the involvement of an individual in illegal activity mostly make them realize of their mistake, which brings a transition in the person, making them a responsible resident in the life afterwards. Some commentators believe that such criminals are the appropriate group for children to interact with and become aware of the repercussions of criminal records. I am inclined to this thought, and my reasoning will be discussed in the forthcoming paragraphs. Okay, so let me tell you what I like about this. I like that you had a your position in here, okay? Um, okay, you wrote your position, so that was fine. I like that you had the right structure of this introductory paragraph. So you talked about the perpetrators and you talked about what some people think and then you know where the controversy lies and then you had a position so your structure was very good uh what i think needs work is some of the language so some of the grammar was off as was some of the vocabulary uh it felt unnatural okay and some of it some of the grammar was just like overly complicated when it didn't need to be so, oh, first of all, obtaining punishment. We don't say that someone obtains punishment, okay? It's not a collocation, so it's it's awkward. Um, and then, this to me felt super heavy because you had all of these prepositional phrases due to the involvement of an individual in a legal activity. All right, you really want to get rid of some of these structural words because it makes the sentence feel very clunky, very heavy and doesn't flow really well. And then, if you take a look at the sentence, look how long it is. It like goes to the end of the third line. You had too much going on in the sentence. And when you have such a long sentence, it's very easy to make a mistake, which, you know, you did. There were mistakes in the sentence, okay? So, do you see this here? In act, blah, 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 all this is um, one thing. So it's mostly makes them realize their mistake, which brings a transition in a person. And then again, look at this, and making them respond. So it's a lot of dependent clauses, and just it's just too much in one sentence, okay? So I wanna simplify it, maybe break it up into two sentences. Let's try to simplify. Punishment for a crime is believed to change a person, making them a responsible citizen afterwards. Okay? It's the same idea as what you said, but it just reads a lot more smoothly. Okay? And then I wouldn't have said commentators. That felt awkward. You could have just said some without the word commentators. So some believe that such criminals are, let's talk about this word appropriate, it's not a really great substitute for this. Look at the difference, the best people. That's what the essay is asking you to talk about. Not whether they're appropriate, but if they are in fact the best people. Okay, so there's this idea of comparison here. Are we, do we believe that people who used to be criminals are in fact the best people? If they are the best, compared to whom? And if, what if others are better? Who is better? Do you understand what the essay is asking you to talk about? So there's this inherent um, um, comparison in the essay that we need to address. So it's not right to say the appropriate. You could have said the most appropriate group for children to interact with to become aware of the repercussions of crime. Again, okay, because okay. not this and become was strange. So let's try it again. Some believe that such criminals are the most appropriate group for children to interact with so that they become aware of the repercussions of crime. Okay? And then you're fine. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like this. I'm inclined to this thought is not really a natural way of saying this. You could say, I fully agree with this idea and my reasoning will be discussed. That's fine. Or, I partially agree with this uh, opinion, and my reasoning will be discussed. So, 
it's up to you. It depends on how you develop it. Okay. So let's see what you actually wrote in your body paragraphs. The proximate effect of this interaction between the young people and those who have experienced prison term is acquiring knowledge of circumstances and living conditions of jail that are not pleasing at all, thus shows the real conditions individuals confront and creates fear in young minds. Wow. That is a sentence that is four lines long. What do you think I'm going to tell you? That it's too long. Okay. Um, it's too wordy and quite frankly, you can say exactly what you said in fewer words. This is not going to impress an examiner because it's, it's just language that could be simplified and could be made clearer, which would allow you more time and more space to actually develop ideas rather than just having lots of words. Okay. So, uh, why don't we do this? One benefit of um, ex-criminals interacting with youngsters is that young people will acquire knowledge um, of the real conditions that these ex-convicts faced, comma, thus creating fear in their young minds. Okay? I took out like a lot of this acquiring knowledge and can live in condition like and are not pleasing at all like it's just too much and it doesn't carry meaning and so it's not helping you all right so try to cut down a lot of the extra language and stick to what is actually serving your purpose which is expressing your ideas okay a clear example of this is Sanjay Dutt who had a part in bomb blasts in Bombay. Okay, what's going on with your grammar here? Uh, who is now a film actor and created a movie demonstrating, not on himself, created a movie demonstrating the unhygienic living conditions in the high security prison. Period. Okay, again, look how where your sentence started. Period. This motivated his many fans, because this language is not natural, um, to not take part, to not take interest in crime or in wrongdoings is a little strange, but, um, or, you know, you could be more specific. You could say, as a result of this movie, crime rates uh, around Mumbai declined. Okay, so that's one way you could have done it. All right, uh, but what I really wanna point out to you is the fact that you've got this paragraph of only two sentences. Do you see that? And that's a problem. Um, because you could have really condensed a lot of this language, all right, and just kept to the words that really carry meaning and are more what you want to say, and then you could have developed this further. All right, you could have added a sentence like, therefore, um, there is positive proof that uh, learning from the mistakes of others can be uh, a wonderful deterrent uh, to crime for youngsters. Okay, something like that. Wrap it all up so we understand again what the central idea is. Okay. To add on, the other fundamental impact of such conversations is that adolescents may learn about the arduous law regulations that have, the regulations have no sympathy for criminals from the experiences of, I don't understand that, from the latter, of latter, I think you're trying to say of the criminals, but that doesn't make sense. You can't use the former and the latter like this. All right, there are very specific ways we use them. So make sure you understand how we use the latter and of course the, the former but you can't use it like this let's try that again you can see again that it's a sentence that's pretty long um not as long as some of your other ones but still you could have shortened it so um how about this another another fundamental benefit of uh such conversations is that adolescents may uh, learn 
that the law has no sympathy for criminals. Okay, and then what happens as a result of that? Period. As a result, they are motivated uh, or they are prevented or they are dissuaded. That's a great word. They are dissuaded from um, involvement in crime. Okay. Having said that, the punishments are often announced for a number of years in case of serious crimes that waste a crucial period of individual's life along with the separation from family, which oftentimes lead to loneliness and further the depression. Therefore, and if I, I mean, look what's going on in this sentence. Look at this. Look at your sentence. Look where it starts. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I can't read a sentence that that's long. That's that long. You should have split this into at least three sentences. Okay. And having said that also does not fit here. All right. You could have said something like many times or very often, uh, the punishments given, uh, okay. Yeah. Many, uh, many times the punishments given, um, require the convict to spend his most crucial period of his life in jail away from his family, period. This results in loneliness and sometimes even depression, period. Therefore, it affects the overall well-being of a person and this cannot be better explained by someone, this cannot be better explained no, that's not what you want to say. Uh, and this can be best explained. That's what you want to say. And this can be best explained by somebody who has been through all this. That makes sense. Okay. So the idea is good. And I like that. And then if you said it like that, this can be best explained by someone, et cetera, et cetera. Then it goes back to this idea that we talked about here, the best people to talk about a crime. Okay. To conclude, children learn the most by listening to the experiences, no, by listening to experiences without the, rather than reading about it, as it allows them to question the speaker, period. New word, new sentence. Moreover, the shared knowledge stays in their mind forever, uh, which makes a huge difference in their life. Now, I don't really like this, the shared knowledge stays in their mind forever. You never talked about that anywhere in your body paragraphs, this whole idea of it stays in their mind forever. So why are you saying it in your conclusion? In your conclusion, you only want to sum up, you want to summarize the things that you've already said. And so it's not the time to introduce new information. Okay. Um, okay. So basically what I'm seeing here is that it's an essay that needs some work. Okay. Needs a lot of work in language, uh, definitely in grammar. You've got to cut down these sentences. You've got to learn how to economize and be more succinct with your writing, not these sentences that go on for three, four, five lines. All right. And you have to make sure you've got the right structure. So what I want to see you do based on what I've seen in this essay is I'd like you to join the online course. You're going to find it such, like, such a help, the, the sentence structures how to structure your paragraphs, what you need to have them be well-developed and cohesive, okay? Please take a look at that. See if that's something that you can sign up for. I think it would change your writing immensely, okay? So thanks for sending this in and good luck to you.